Governor Fubara reportedly directs reverse commissioners nominated by Nwike to resign. <laughs> now, wow. So we know that some of the commissioners have actually, uh, you know, about five of them, uh, they have resigned already. And now uh, the remaining ones that are loyal to Nwike, um, uh, Fubara is now asking them to resign. In fact, direct them to resign. That means that Fubara is ready to change his cabinet totally, ready to have people that can work with him in the state and has to behave like the emperor to be able to have control over his government. Uh, Rivers state top government officials have been dragged into the ongoing war between Yesu Mwike and his successor Fubara. At the moment, seven commissioners loyal to Mwike have resigned from Fubara's cabinet. In a different twist, the Rivers governor ordered all Mwike's nominated appointees to join their colleagues who are loyal to the FCT minister. Legit ND journalist Esther Odili has over two years of experience covering Okay, that is the person that has provided this uh, report. The governor of Rivers, Similarly Fubara, has ordered all the commissioners nominated by the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT Nyesongwike, to tender their resignation letters. Uh, this comes after 18 commissioners tendered their resignation letter on Friday morning, December 15. The commissioners were told to resign today, Friday, or would be relieved of their jobs by Monday, December 18. Oh boy. So Nyesu Nguke was a Fubara Why to Rubo intervened prominent APC Chief T reveals. That is different. Okay. So what is happening here um, is that Fubara has asked all the remaining commissioners nominated by Nguke to resign. And the write-up continues. He alleged that Nguke surrounded Fubara with his loyalists, strategically placing them from the House of Assembly to the judiciary and political uh, appointees. That is a very serious problem. So according to this person, this plan was to give Wiki the ability to strike Fubara anytime, as evidenced by the recent failed impeachment uh, attempt. Now, while commissioners are resigning in large numbers amid grapevine information suggesting they will be sacked soon as part of the ongoing system cleansing. That is it. The, the system has to be properly cleansed. The system has to be properly cleansed. All commissioners appointed by Emperor Nguike have been told to resign by the end of Friday or face immediate dismissal on Monday morning. Ha. Now, now, wow. So far, the commissioners have resigned after appointment. The Lagos mother can only work in Yoruba land, south, south, and southeast. No go green. <laughs> that is what somebody is saying now. Eh? And even Mwike's kingsmen back Fubara in the process. Earlier, Legit reported that some political leaders in the 17th wards of Obiakpo local government area of the River State declared support for Governor Siminalai Fubara administration. Yeah, we've seen that happen before, and all of them are still behind the Siminalai Fubara. Okay? So, and Ibo Farano has put his mouth to declare that those lawmakers that defected actually cannot defect with their seat. Their seat hitherto remains uh, vacant. And I'm sure that is already eating them up. They don't know how to manage that, uh, that wahala because it is now a wahala for them. All this information came out around December 15th. I must be, uh, I must be precise. Uh, and somebody's already saying this news is not correct now. Why are you telling us this now? Yeah, we know. We're just bringing it up again. Uh, uh, somebody said, not true. You be fake man. <laughs> yeah, this news is not correct. We know. So, but the fact here remains that, uh, you know, uh, the fact here remains that uh, uh, Wiki is uh, actually not finding the fight easy with Fubara. And Fubara is having his support a lot all around. The only problem with Fubara now is that having declared his loyalty for Tinubu and is ready to go ahead to implement um, the eight-point um, agreement, saying that there's no nothing that is too 
big, no two, no sacrifice is too big to pay for peace to reign in River State, saying that the eight point agreement is not a death sentence. That is what exactly the word he used. With all of that happening, I'm just wondering what is going to happen between him and all his supporters in River State and outside of River State. Because it's not going to be an easy one that uh, the people of uh, River State, especially those uh, members of the House of Rep that have come out to stand for him, are going to see the way he's twisting the matter now. That means he's proving them wrong. He's going to make them feel ashamed. That is it. Will that, uh, how long will that uh, continue to be? That is a big issue, I must tell you the truth. Okay? So if people that are supporting Fubara are seeing that uh, he is already, uh, you know, wanting to implement the eight point um, agreement that they are advising him not to implement, then sooner or later there's going to be disagreement between him and his uh, supporters. But the other, the other end again, where the supporters might find soccer, is this effort that is making to do holistic cleansing in his cabinet, and showing that anybody supported or nominated by Wiki is, uh, you know, expoiled or removed from his cabinet. Okay, having asked them to resign or they be sacked is a big issue. I'm telling you, and a lot of them are going to go, and a lot of them are actually going to regret supporting Wiki in the first place. Because Wiki was there as an emperor and nobody interfered with his government. So even if he supported in making Fubara the governor of the state, why should he uh, want to dictate for the governor at this time? That is not accepted and that is what people are trying to kick against. Alright, so thank you for listening and let's have a comment in this regard.